item of business, which is consideration of motion 8732 in the name of Nicola Sturgeon on appointment of junior Scottish minister. I call on the first minister to speak to and move motion 8732. I rise to move the motion in my name that Parliament approve the appointment of Marie Todd as a Scottish Minister. Before I turn to Marie's appointment, let me address Mark Macdonald's departure. As Minister for Children and Early Years, Mark oversaw the initial work in our plans to double the provision of nursery education and also the successful national rollout of the Baby Box from this summer, an initiative of which I am extremely proud. However, as John Swinney said last week, politics must set the highest of standards. He urged men in particular to reflect on their behaviour and Mark has done that. Uh, Mark's departure was not in a manner that anyone would have wished, but it was the right decision. Uh, turning now to Marie Todd's appointment. Marie isn't only a relative newcomer to our parliament, she is also a relative newcomer to politics. One of the many people on both sides of the debate who was inspired to become politically active during the independence referendum campaign. Prior to her election last year, Marie had a long career working for NHS Highland as a mental health pharmacist. She also volunteered as an antenatal teacher for the National Childbirth Trust and indeed was still teaching a weekly Bumps and Babies group right up until her election. Uh, having supported mothers and their babies, Marie will now take on responsibility for ensuring that Scotland is the best place for those same children to grow up. Since becoming an MSP, Marie has shown herself to be a formidable advocate, both for her constituents and for the causes in which she believes. Uh, few could fail to have been moved by her passionate, heartfelt appeal in this chamber to the UK government to halt the rollout of universal credit based on what she herself had witnessed in the Highlands. But it is in her day-to-day -day parliamentary duties as a whip and as a member of the Finance and the Health and Sport Committees that Marie has developed a well-deserved reputation for diligence and hard work. And uh, to those on the opposition benches who might uh, be shadowing Marie, uh, let me gently remind them that she is also an enthusiastic member of the Scottish Parliament's rugby team. <laughs> so if you believe that she can be pushed around easily, uh, I suggest you first consult her teammates to find out the truth. Uh, Presiding officer, government has few greater long-term responsibilities than to ensure that all of our young people get the best possible start in life. As such, the job that Marie is taking on is one of the most important in government. In doing so, she has my full confidence and I hope that she also has the best wishes of every MSP across this chamber. Uh, Presiding officer, it gives me great pleasure to move that the Parliament agrees that Marie Todd be appointed as a junior Scottish Minister. I call on Jackson Carlo. Uh, presiding officer, the circumstances attending this ministerial resignation do not require editorial comment in the chamber from me this afternoon. I note only on behalf, I hope, of us all that this is the most depressing ministerial resignation in our relatively short history. I thank the former minister for his service and note in particular the focus he brought to, with real passion and feeling to the issues of children with autism. Uh, and I thought he did a commendable job in that regard. We welcome the appointment of Marie Todd, a new member in 2016. She has worked hard in the chamber and has built a reputation across the parties as an effective and passionate MSP. I hope those qualities will be reflected in her career as a minister, which we will all watch with interest. We support the nomination. Thank you. The question is that motion number 8732 in the name of Nicola Sturgeon be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are all agreed. I may congratulate the Minister on her appointment. <laughs> Thank you. We're now going to move to the next item of business, which is Stage 3 Proceedings on the Child Poverty Scotland Bill. So we're just going to take a few moments for members to change seats.